I've been with the department for 18 years, working with Road Patrol. That's, that's what I love to do, being able to go out and, and to assist and help people. Unfortunately, there was a lot of conflict in my home uh, growing up. My dad was, a, was an alcoholic, so uh, it wasn't uh, too long after that that uh, my parents got divorced. During that time, uh, just not having the proper supervision not having direction, not having a positive male role model in our lives, we pretty much started, my brothers and I started straying in our own directions. And that started around the end of elementary school into middle school. And I started making some really, really bad decisions. So I got into the court system. One of the counselors that, that I was involved with came up with the idea that, that Sheridan House might be a very good fit. So I was taken into the program at the beginning of my freshman year. It was the first time that I really was in an environment that I had discipline and structure. And I had house parents. I'd never seen two people get along as well as they did that just helped me to realize this is what a real man, a Christian man, how he, how he treats the love of his life, how he treats those around. And he was firm, but I knew when he disciplined us, he loved us. There was always a consequence for our, for our behavior. So I did spend a lot of time out here doing a lot of work hours, so to speak, and cutting grass and doing all the things that went with that. But we knew that he, was, he did love us and that he wanted the best for us. I did accept Christ, obviously, when I was at Sheridan House. And every morning, never forget the Bible studies. He brought it to our level, and it was the first time that I ever heard scripture that was brought that really came to life. It was, it was amazing. I never forgot when I left, he gave me, you know, my first Bible. A personal Bible was a gift. So once I finished my freshman year, um, I did go back and live with my dad, but there were still some issues there. And shortly thereafter, I was able to come back to Sheridan House, work on the property, continue going to school, where my grades obviously dramatically changed from failing when I got here to, uh, you know, A's and B's, and then eventually graduated. I met my uh, wife at, uh, at junior college. I was a sophomore, she was a freshman. This August of this year, we'll be married 27 years. And uh, that was one, another great thing that happened in my life. I have uh, two kids uh, that uh, are in high school. Uh, they both attend Calvary Christian Academy. Uh, my wife is also a teacher at Calvary. One of the key things that I learned at Sheridan House was the value of time. One of the key components even to this day, you know, family vacations, going away for just a day or two, just spending as much time as possible with each other. I had an opportunity once I graduated college to come back and work with boys for three years at Sheridan House, which was a phenomenal time, to be able to talk to these kids and tell them, listen, I've been in that same situation. You have to have the faith and believe and trust that you're gonna make it and you're gonna have an impact on others. There were times I remember laying in bed as a kid, you know, even before my parents got divorced, just wanting to have a stable, decent home. That's really what I desired to have instead of the, the conflict and all the, the difficult times. So when I look back at it now, I just, I thank the Lord for it because it's something that I always dreamed about having and it, it's something that I've achieved. And eventually my mother did accept Jesus Christ as her Savior and Lord, and then my dad eventually also became a Christian, genuinely accepted Christ, and I did see some changes. It was amazing to see that. If it wouldn't have been for Sheridan House, I can't really say where I would be today, and it gave me the opportunity to achieve dreams that I'd had but I'd never thought would, would materialize. And it's only through him, by the grace of God, that I am where I am.